Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth from MB Greatest Signs. So I am live, and if you're watching the replay, you may want to fast forward a little bit. My goal today is to show you how to make swing tab closures. Hey, Amy. Hey, Marcy. Uh, let me open my blinds. It's gloomy, but I'm wondering. I'm wondering how this will be. I'm hoping that's a little bit better. Um, so yeah. Well, hello. Hi, Lauren. So yesterday, remember we were working on, oh, well, first of all, Marcy, how was your cruising? <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Hopefully that was fun. <laughs> um, so we were working on the mini album. Remember, I'm doing the Penelope mini album. So I had started the chipboard cover. I finished that up today. I mean, I still need to, you know, cover the inside mat and do all that, stuff, all that stuff. Um, you cut the top down. That's great. Um, so yeah, so here's the cover. I made it a half inch taller and a half inch wider than the base pages. So that's done. That's ready to go. Have not done the hinge yet, but that's okay. All right. So, um, let me set that aside. Um, so I finished up all my ma magnetic closures. Um, Lauren has been making some beautiful things lately. Oh, how nice. Um, so I finished up all my magnetic closures and I think I have two pages where I'm going to do a swing tab. And so I thought it would be good to come on here and show you how I do it. Now it has been a while. So let's hope, uh, let's hope I do this. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Let me get a little bit better. Sorry. I'm moving this all around. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. All right. Okay, so, 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 so this was the page. So I have not put any magnets on this one. Okay, but it has these four flaps, if you remember. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put um, a swing tab. It'll probably go on this corner and then it'll swing to close them all, swing open to open it all. And that will be my closure. Okay. It's been a while. Bear with me. So what I've done is, oh, and by the way, I, this is just my habit is when I go through and I'm getting ready to mat, you guys may do this too, but I go ahead and write down, I always write my horizontal first and then my vertical because then I remember. So like, for example, this is four and three quarters wide by four and a quarter tall. And then I write how many of those pieces for this page that I need. And in this case, I need four. So two, four. And then I did the same here. And that just keeps me straight. Now that's my matted, my matted one. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, um, Amy, the Snow and Coco is an amazing beginner album. So I do suggest that it's it's fun. It'll get you used to things. Um, but this really isn't like complicated. But I just think the more you do it, you know, it'll come easier. So I would suggest the Snow and Coco one first, and then you know, then you can try another one. Now I have not done, you know, like a full tutorial on this one. I don't even know the measurements because I didn't write anything down when I designed it. But um, I, somebody really wants a tutorial on this. So I will do it. It's just going to be a while on this one. Anyway. Okay. So I cut out all my mats. Okay. I got to get them organized. I know that little princess is going to go right here. And then I want the carriages to go right here. And I wanted, let me see if I can remember how I did this. Which one did I? Oh, yeah. I wanted the wands right here. And I wanted 
what did I put next to the wands? I think it was this one. Okay, so that's the outside of the flaps matting is what I'm going with. I just got to keep them separate. And then when you open it up, so I'm going to do this in order counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, just because otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll forget. And the reason I'm being weird about this is because um, you can mat certain ones that you have to mat before doing the swing tab, but certain ones that you can't mat. Okay. So that's why I need to kind of make sure I'm um, good with that. So, Hey, Barbara, how are you? Yes, it is. Isn't it Marcy? So fun to hang out with everyone. Okay. So then on the inside, what I was doing was, let's see, where's my, these are my two big ones. Oh yeah. I was going to do I really love that gold heart. I was going to do that one over there and I was going to do my polka dots there and I was going to do my princesses there and my little stars or no, you know what? I think I'm going to do it this way. Yeah. Okay. So counterclockwise, I'm being so weird, but this is the only way I can remember. <sighs> hey, honey. Hey, Denise. How are you? Okay. So this is inside counterclockwise. That's outside. All right. There we go. Now what I need to do, I'm going to move this trimmer out of the way, is I got to determine a couple things. What am I going to use for the swing tab? And also, do I want to ink my edges? And so what I did is I pulled out, look at my distress oxides. I don't have them all, but I got a pretty good collection. So I was going to run through these like abandoned coral. Most of them are going to be no Picked raspberry, I think, is going to be too dark. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure. Sassy pants. <laughs> um, how much would you charge to make one of these? <laughs> I don't know. I've been told to, um, you know, sell them. By the way, just so you guys know, I did buy a website. It's mbgraydesigns.com. However, it's under construction, not not ready by any means. When I do get it ready, I may start, I think I will start selling and doing some classes and things on there. I don't know. I'm planning it all out. Now, worn lipsticks lighter than that picked raspberry. So that might be an option. What's different about this one is the pink is really different. And then there's an ivory and gold and stuff. So I'm not sure what ink I want to do, you know, definitely not fire brick. <laughs> None of the blues, so let's get these. See, I might not even have a good one. I love this Twisted Citron, but it won't go with this. <laughs> lucky Clover. Um, see, I was lucky I got a bunch of these on clearance instead of $5.99, $1.49 at Hobby Lobby. This was a few times ago. Uh, there's the Distress, or the Vintage Photo Walnut Stain. Those are... Suit, black suit, spice marmalade. It's gonna have to be one of the big. Well, we have an antique linen, which um, I don't know about that one. Fossilized amber, amber and wild honey. Okay, so I think it's gonna be either worn lipstick, and I want to test out this antique linen and kind of see what it looks like. I do think I want to definitely um, ink the edges, though. You know. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about the website for sure. Yeah, 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 I know. So um, I just have to find the time to develop it. So, and I got it through GoDaddy. They do a lot of it. You know, I paid for like where they'll do a lot of it. I just haven't had time yet to kind of get going on that. But it is something I'm going to be working on. And I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to do some different things. And yeah, so more to come on that. All right, so let me get, uh, let me get, what do I need? What do I need? I need one of these little sponge dapper thingy majiggers. Oh, here's one. Um, <laughs> you don't have any of the inks. Well, listen, I got lucky on those ones I was showing you. If you see them on clearance and Hobby Lobby, grab them because that's an amazing deal. That's 75%. It's like a buck. What did they say? A dollar something versus $5.99. And I got to tell you, Marcy, the oxides. Oh my God. I love, 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 love them. They're, in my opinion, just so nice. Um, 
the, the distress ink's good too, but the oxide is really amazing because it has both pigment and dye. All right, so I'm not going to test on my actual paper. Let me get um, a piece of, let's just get a piece of scrap. And then let's see. Because what I'm thinking with this antique linen, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of an ivory, but a very light ivory. And my base um, pages are white. So that's why I, I don't know about this. So we're just going to see. I'm worried the pink is going to be too pink. So we're just going to see what this is going to look like. And I'm sorry, I got to kind of hold it up to light. It is not going to look right, as you can see. So no go. No go. It's beautiful, but no go on the antique linen. Okay, well, that solved that. Let me move my inks out of the way. Um, so, yeah, so the we're going to go with worn, and I love worn lipstick. I hope I have enough juice juice because I have used it a lot. Oh, crap, I screwed that up. Here we go. Am I pulling up? Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I hope it's going to look okay. Let me... Let me do this. Add water. Well, you know, probably good, huh? Hey, Tree, how are you? Is Jenny here? Oh, hi, Jenny. Okay, yeah. I think this is going to have to work. Because remember, it's only going to be on the edge. So even if it's slightly, it doesn't even look the right color on camera, it's it's going to be fine. So we're going to go with that, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and ink up my edges real quick, which I'm sure is very boring for you. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yay, you're here. <laughs> You guys, this album, I really hope it turns out cute. I think it's going to be cute when it's all done. My little Lily should love it. She's such a sweetie. She's graduating from preschool. Oh, my God. I think that's next week. I got to block that out on my calendar. Um, so they have her little program. Um, they already did their pictures. She has a pink cap and gown, you guys. It's so freaking cute. And so I ordered a ton of her pictures, you know. So I'll show them to you guys when I get them. I don't know when we get those, but I did order them. But her little graduation is uh, next week. I can't wait. I want to say it's Wednesday. Oh, gosh, I got to look at that. I know, for preschool. <laughs> it's so fun. And kindergarten, you know. So she's going to be a big girl in kindergarten next year. You know, <laughs> it's so cute. I know. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. It'd be nice if I had this done, but I'm definitely going to be putting, I have enough room in this album, honestly, to put like younger pictures up to preschool graduation. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know. But yeah, fun. Okay, so we got the inside panels ready, which now I got them backwards. I got to put them in the right order so I don't forget. And then we'll do these really quick. I love this little princess. <laughs> it's so cute with the glitter, the gold glitter. A pink <laughs> cap and gown, I know. <sighs> It can be a work in progress, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys working on? You guys doing some crafts today? I hope. Jenny, your little giveaway is so cute. That's so exciting. Everyone, first of all, go support each other. But Jenny just reached, um, Jenny is Beauty Nerd Crates, if you don't know her. She just reached 200 subs. Yay. Congrats. <laughs> so if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. But go check all of us out, right? You know, she should be wearing a tiara, right? <laughs> You're doing your last daughter's. Oh, wow. How cool. And you're stuck on this album, Shabby. And oh, I love Shabby Chic. I haven't. Well, let me put it this way. I'm kind of a mild shabby chic if I do shabby chic I'm not the extreme shabby like because it, it's not really fully my cup of tea of how I work but I love it I think they're beautiful yes you see what I'm saying I think you and I might be kind of the same there Jenny um so yeah 
I know. Yay. Congrats, Jenny. <laughs> oh, good, Marcy. Yeah, please do, because she's amazing. Anyway, I watched your video last night. You were so cute. Like, she lives in, where is it? By Miami, right? I think is what you said. Um, so, Florida, South Florida. And um, these little, it was really nice out, but little bugs, you know, were flying around. And I got to tell you this, Jenny, I don't know if it's because I watched your video later last night, like before. Now, keep in mind, I live in the middle of the country. Okay, landlocked. There's no swamps or anything around here. I had a dream last night, uh, no joke, and it felt so weird that I was in the swamps, the bayou or somewhere, you know, and they made me lay on this dock thing that was super narrow and like my legs kept falling off and these alligators were coming up. To me. I was freaking out. <laughs> Right? You're glad you're in Southern California. Oh, God, girl. So I don't know, Jenny. I think I had nightmares about alligators because you're in Florida and I watched you shortly before I went to bed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's just, you know, me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> You'd like, I'd like to see your doctor painting. Oh, are you talking to Denise? I don't think you're talking to me, are you, Cheryl? Like, I have not painted a doctor. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had really weird dreams last night. Um, like, other ones, too. I'm, you know, sometimes you don't remember. I just know I had really bizarre, I don't know, it was craziness. Not really sure why. It's just weird how that happens sometimes. <clears throat> okay. I mean, they weren't like nightmare. Well, the alligator one was pretty scary. But I don't know, just weirdness. All right. So we've got outside mats. And inside mats ready. Now we got to figure out the swing tab. You guys, let me set this aside for a second. This is outside. This is inside. Um, so what I've done here is these. Oh, by the way, all these pieces that I use. If you if you guys caught me yesterday, is I was able to use the six by six pad, which had different designs than the 12 by 12. So that was awesome. So these are like my little leftovers of the six by six that I used. And I could certainly cut out a little princess and use her as a swing tab if she's big enough. So like I have all these scraps, but what I'm thinking is I showed you guys, Ooh, I need to find my ephemera. I showed you guys the mixed bag. Does that show the right way for you? I hope of, um, this is called the mixed bag. It's like one of the ephemera packs. And so in looking, and I'm behind on comments, uh, just a sketch. Oh, 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 okay. That was for Denise. You made a paper bag album. Those are fun. Do you know that a paper bag album was the very first one I made a couple years ago when I started and I had so much fun. So yeah, that's so cool. Anyway, so these are the pieces. Okay, so I took them out today and I started, let's kind of lay some of these. Now there are some really small ones that obviously, you know, they're not going to work for a swing tap. So we'll just, you know, throw them back in there. But there are some amazing pieces in here that I'm like, oh, because what you want, what you want, this is blue. That's gonna not going to go with that. Um, but what you want is, you know, this is not the heaviest ephemera. You definitely want your swing tab to be pretty sturdy, right? So if you can put it on chipboard, that's fantastic. But if you cannot, like if it's a weird shape and I can't cut ch chipboard into a flower or something, then um, just use heavyweight car so I can just do a few layers, you know, so that's all good. You can do it like that. Hey, Linda. Hey, Cindy, how are you? So what I'm doing is just going through these to find one that could be used. This is, I keep forgetting I'm backwards when I do lives. I can't figure out how to do ro rotate on a live, so I apologize for that. But yeah, these are really cute. So I'm kind of going to narrow it down so that we can pick um, a swing tab. But some of them are really nice. Like, look at this. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that would be a really big swing tab, but it's adorable. Um, so yeah, I just, 
the more I'm working with it, because like I said, I've had this collection for a very long time. But now that I've opened it up and I'm playing with it, oh my God, I'm even more in love with it. And I already was in love with it. So, you know. Yes, the Splendor. Very good, Amy. I mean, it's amazing. It just makes it a really sturdy piece of ephemera. I do that all the time if I see Cut them Out. And I love Fussy Cut. So, oh, that Authentique Dame is so pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Shabby. Yep. If, if you're having to make a shabby project, that's a good one, in my opinion, Jenny. Well, that's okay, Amy, because then you have multiple pieces or different ones. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Um, yay, I'm so glad Cindy was able to join us. Okay, so, you guys, I mean, it's just, look at the frog, okay? Like. Yeah, so cute. I'm just leaning over to kind of check things out to see what I want as a in these princesses. I they're going to be in the album, just not as the swing tab. Like they're just adorable. I just absolutely love them. And then we got tons of glitter words. You know, sparkle, smile. I'm telling you, this is just the cutest freaking collection. I wonder if this glittered star would be big enough. Let me just take a look. Let me. see see if I would could make that work. I'm over here on the other side. Sorry. It, it, I, if it were just a little bigger, it would be good, but it's not. So I certainly could do something like that. I'm going to put that in the running. Yeah, that one's not going to work. Look at this and you can punch out. This punches out the, oops, the crown. Isn't that cute? Love it. I'm sorry. I just keep raving about this. It's just so dang cute. What is this? Oh, it's like a little crown, I guess, kind of a banner thing. Frog prince, I know. <laughs> Here's another crown that comes out. I wonder if this crown could be a swing top. Let's see. If I put it there, I'm just trying to plan. Hold on. And it slid. You know what? The crown is definitely an option. I don't think I want the flowers. So I'm going to move those out. So we're going to, we're going to narrow it down to a few here, which will help us out. I don't want the banner. Okay. So this will totally help us out to make it because this is how I have to do it. Otherwise I won't make a freaking decision all dang day. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that, but I swear sometimes I'm like, Oh, you know, <laughs> Hey Deborah, how are you, sweetheart? Oh my God, I'm so excited, Jenny. <laughs> I'm waiting for birthday hall part 10, girl. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, so here's what we got. Let me show you how to work so that you can see and help me pick. So, okay, like I'm going to kind of lay these out a little bit just to give you kind of an idea, at least of these first two pages. So, well, actually, no, I'm not. And the reason why is I want you to see the intersections. Okay, so this is where I'm going to put the swing tab, okay? And when I do that, it's going to swing down so that everything opens, boom, 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 because we got a couple directions. But when you swing it, you want it to, you know, you want it to swing to hold or something like that. Okay, so that all pieces are down and then you would swing it this way and then you could open. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is pick a piece, you know, that would be a really cute swing tab to use, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so like with this mirror, which is really cute, see, it could, it's big enough that it would hold all those down if I put my brad here. Right. I wish I could put the brad in the middle of the heart, but that just I don't think that would be big enough. Maybe it would barely be big enough. But anyway, I could put the brad like at the bottom of the heart or something and see right there. It would hold all those intersections together and then you would swing it. See, that's where I have to be careful, because if I swing it, it's going to be over here. You know what I mean? So you have to have it. This one's not going to work. I don't even know if I'm making sense, but that's 
like the crown that I was showing you, I think this one would work because if I have the crown like that, it's going to, which I think is really cute. It's going to hold all the pages down. And if I just have a little brad down here, a bling brad, which I think would be fine, um, you would swing it and see there's enough room. All of them would open. So I'm kind of thinking the crown is what we want to do, you know? So, oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. I'm doing a, a mini album I'm using the Penelope, my mind's eye Penelope collection, which is really cute. And I'm, I've already done magnet closures, but now I'm showing one of my closures as, as a swing tab. So, yeah. So I say we go with the crown. Now we could use, I don't know if this would even, yeah, it would. So we could use this, which is wand, which is adorable. And then it would go down and that would probably be an easier one, quite frankly. Or this one that I love that is T for tiara. And then we could do the same thing. So I'm going to put that one back. That's where I'm at. Let's do a vote. The crown is number one. The tiara is number two. And the wand is number three. One, two, three, go. Choose one, two, or three. <laughs> one, two, three. What do you guys think? I'm going to let you guys decide. I know. I'm kind of liking tiara now more, too. <laughs> crown, crown. We've got 10 people watching. Come on, girls. Okay, tiara. So we've got two for tiara, two for crown. <laughs> Three for tiara. Half of you have voted. That's good. Okay, Linda, four. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. This is fun. You get a. You know what I need to do is make something that's like you guys decide every step. Wouldn't that be cool? And then see how it turns out at the end. I got to do that with something smaller than a mini album, you know? <laughs> That'd be so cute. Okay. I think Tiara won. It looks like one, two, three, four, well, five out of seven votes. So we're going to go with that. Okay. I, I'm sorry, girls, about the crown. But we will put the crown in here somewhere. It's going to be cute. And I have another. Actually, I have a. Let me show you. Because it may work out better on this one anyway. I have one more swing tab that I'll be doing. And it's right here where it opens this way and this way. And the top piece has this border. So I could certainly put the crown. That might look really cute there too. And then it could swing all the way down. So maybe we'll do the crown on that one. Then we then we all win, right? Okay. So here's how you do it. Now, I'm going to attach it. I got to find a brand. Dang it. I forgot about that. I'm going to attach it on this piece that's the first one that opens. Okay. So because of that, I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to put a brad, poke a hole, and put the brad through. Okay. So what that means is you have to have your paper down first on the top right? Because you're going to poke a hole and put your brad, you know, this, and then your brad in. However, on the back side, do not mat because the brad will come through and you bend it open. So you put your paper on after you put the brad through. Does that make sense? So mat this one, don't mat this one. Okay. So that's, I wanted to make sure to point that out because I've made that mistake before. <laughs> Of course I have. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the likes, ladies. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. So, dang it. I should have had a Brad ready. Oh, I could just kick myself for that. One second, guys. So sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay. I need my brads. I need my brads. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just want like a gem one. Let's see. That's my beholders. Sorry, I gotta pull a container out that has my brads. I gotta find which. I 
I should have these. Okay, those are Clips Brads. Here we go. Clips and Brads, I found it. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to run to two. Was that for me, Denise? Well, I have to take that. I don't know if you're talking to me, but I have to take back that thing. I think I'm going to try to do that. Oh, thanks, Barbara. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to try maybe tomorrow. I, here's the thing. I'm so lame. I didn't want to go anywhere today. I want the whole day and night to be MB crafting. <laughs> Mary Beth craft. Honestly, I'm just being lazy. Okay. So I got to find some brads that would work. So I'm pulling all my dang brads. Let's just see what we got. Oh, good. I think I've got some good choices here. Paper clips, paper clips, paper clips. Okay. I love these things. Don't you guys love these things? So in this one, I have, just so you know, like right there, it says, Clips, you probably can't read that. Clips slash brads. And then on the top, it'll say like paper clips miscellaneous, paper clips metallic, paper clips holiday, paper clips gold, paper clips bling, blah, blah, blah. And then like my, my and then I have like lobster claw clips, binder clips, and clothes pins. And then on the brads, it'll say like brads bling fun. Brad's plane, et cetera. And it really helps me because, <laughs> you know, I lose things. Yes, it's, oh, and you know what? It's really gloomy here, Marcy. So, yeah, I totally agree. We had rain yesterday. I know it's a lot of dang bread. Now, in my in my um, defense, this one doesn't have very many in it. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Good idea to use that photo. I know. And you know I have, you guys, two, four, six. I have eight of those photo cases. I know that sounds extreme. Here's the thing. I got these um, oh, cube storage things, right? And they fit perfectly. On the bottom, there's one, two, three, four spots. And then they build up, you know? And so two, two of those um, photo case things fits in one. So it's perfect. It's full with eight. Now I have tons of room because half of them have nothing in them yet. Right. So um, it's fine. It's just like I at least have room to grow if I wanted to or whatever. You know what I mean? So but I have no reason I will not buy any more because there's no reason to because I'm at, you know, I don't need to. All right. I don't even know if that made sense. But OK, so I'm just going to look through some of these to see if we can find see I kind of wouldn't mind finding like a pink or some type of gemmy one that would look really cute oh thanks Cheryl oh wow Denise right <laughs> so okay so see I've got like this pretty oh that's glaring lighter pink I'm gonna hold it up and that one is a very good choice. So I'm going to pull that one off just to have it because I think that might be the winner, which is awesome. Because then, you guys, I got all these like I think at Tuesday morning last um, summer, and they're perfect, you know, because again, these can go with anything. It doesn't have to be summer themed. And then these that are summer themed are just those like sticker things. Does that, does that make sense? So, um, and look at, look at this beautiful little, God, that does not come through good. White rose. I love brads. I just don't use them as much as I should. I need to remember to use them more, you know? So just as a double check, we could use like a pink. That's too hot of pink. So that one wouldn't work. And then um, let's see. And then it is. I mean, we could use white, but I don't want to. And then these are holiday. But the reason I pulled them out for the same reason, if you look at these, and I don't know if you guys do this or not, but think about it. If red is not with green, like if I was making a project with red, it doesn't matter. That could be 4th of July. It doesn't have to be Christmas. You see, like white, that could go with anything. So sometimes I look to see now, obviously Santa's and these. <laughs> but that's why I look to sometimes see, well, do I have a color 
that'll work even though it's holiday that I may like better than this one. And I doubt it. I think I know. I know me and my pinks, right? Um, Like this blue, which is hard to see. Oh, okay, you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, this is with some Christmas collection, but I could see me using that blue with anything. You, you know what I mean? Like it, it's same here. They're gorgeous. You don't have to use them for Christmas. And I guess that's why I don't store these with my regular Christmas stuff because, again, I can use them throughout the year. That's just my the way my brain works sometimes. All right, so let me set these down. I'm going to have to put those back in my thing, but I'll do that later. All right, so here we go. You're like, come on with it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map this. I've already inked the edge right on here, okay? So let's get that done. When I mat, um, I like to use wet glue, but people can use whatever they prefer. Double-sided tape, it doesn't matter, you know? it's. I always say glue adhesive is such a personal choice. I like to recommend what I think works good for me, but um, that was not fun. I just got some on the front. Uh, but again, it's, you know, whatever works for everybody, you know? So, and I like to try different glues. I'm loving that Nouveau. Oh my God. I love that Nouveau glue. Oh my God. It's amazing. Okay. Mary Beth, get, get it on straight. It's because you're filming that you're going to screw it up. Okay. Maybe that'll. Okay. Uh, not perfect. We don't have to be perfect, but you know. All right, so we got that one on. So cute, I love this paper. Okay. Ooh, so there's that. Now, what I'm gonna do next is, remember I was saying that this piece of um, ephemera is, it's a little flimsy, and because it's gonna be a closure and moved around, we want that thing to be sturdy, okay? So let me... I have my mat upside down. Isn't that funny? Uh, let me measure this out. It's probably like a two by two. Um, so I can cut some paper or chipboard actually to go behind it. So this is actually two and a half by two and a half. All right. Let's see what I got. And again, this is why I keep all my little leftover chipboards, you know. Oh, that's about perfect. Okay. So let me get my trimmer and we'll cut this chipboard and again i know my ruler um oh i'm sorry i'm behind on comments uh -huh. pink one is perfect hot in delaware oh we have the air on too it's humid it's humid it's humid and yes tree that's why i don't store all my house like the paper i will but you're right bling and stuff um 80s in ohio and what kind of glue? I the wet adhesive I use is I hope that's not upside down. I think it is. Which what anyway, it's art glitter glue. It's linked in my Amazon link. Okay. So make sure to check my links. Does not cost you anything extra. It does help me out though. Because I just recently got on the um affiliate program with Amazon. Um humid, let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Let me back it up. Today is chilly. Yesterday, I, when I was live, you guys, I was like, oh my God, there's going to be a tornado. It was so humid and thick and hot and muggy. And then we had rainstorms come through. No tornadoes, thank goodness. Rainstorms that came through and it turned a beautiful, cool evening. And today it's gloomy, but it's cool and no humidity. And I'm okay with that. So, yeah. Yay, Lauren. Thank you so much for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. Denise, remind me to put my chipboard on Amazon. I, I thought I had it on there. I need to get it on there today. And some sweet subscriber asked me about it because it's not on there. So I need to do that. I'm cutting this slightly down a little bit. Go this way. Um, so if I forget, I just need to remember to do that. But I really do appreciate you guys doing that. Okay. 
Oh, look, it worked well. I love this thing, man. I use this thing all the time. <laughs> Perfect when you're cutting, you know, you don't, if I'm not cutting a full 12 by 12, I tend to use that. All right, so we've got our chipboard and it's going to be perfect. The only thing is, if you notice, I have rounded corners and I'm pretty sure they're the quarter inch, not the half inch. So if you do have, where's my chomper? Here it is. I love this thing. It was one of the first kind of tools that I got when I started crafting. And I have no regrets about it because I use it all the time. And it's the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chopper. You've got a quarter inch and a half inch. So I'm going to use the quarter inch because that's going to match up with this. So I'm going to, and it'll cut through chipboard. Although I say that, it probably won't now. No, it does. Look, see, isn't that great? Love this thing. South Florida and the weather is like me. Oh, Jenny. In Kentucky. Wow. Do not miss humidity. It's like Oh, I know. It's like you have to go in and take a shower the minute you walk outside. <laughs> yes. And of course, I got it a Tuesday morning, but I was like, that was a good buy. I love that little trimmer. And you guys, look, how perfect is this? Because now, ta-da. I mean, perfect. Love this thing. Um, you can get this if you go to, huh, I want to say Michaels has it. The only reason I'm mentioning like a Michaels or Hobby Lobby is use your 40% off or Joann's or wherever. Cause then it's, it's a pretty darn good deal. I've been using this for almost two years. Absolutely love it. Not broken. It's totally cool. It's, it's, or a lot of times they have punches. I don't know if that would be considered a punch. Maybe not, but anyway. All right. So because this is going on my chipboard, you know, like this, um, I am going to, well, first of all, notice my, it doesn't really matter, but I am going to adhere it to the kind of craft looking side. No one's really going to look underneath my swing tab, but at least it's white. I am going to ink up once I adhere this, the whole thing anyway, like the edges. So um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with my glue. And you certainly, like I said, double sided tape, whatever, whatever floats your boot. I am kind of putting quite a bit of glue. I really want it to soak into this chipboard. Kind of like a, you could Mod Podge it. That's a good idea too, you know. But I'm going to just do this, see how this works out. Make sure we're even Steven and it's all good. Where's my wipe? Oh my God, that's awesome, Linda. <laughs> Everyone is Florida is Jenny, at least. <laughs> well, at least what they show on the news. That's funny. Except in the Keys. Would you go back and live there, Denise? Man, Linda, that is, you got lucky. But that's a great idea, you know. Check garage sales, thrift stores. This is garage sale season, right? Because a lot of people, as a matter of fact, there was a lady... I don't know, it was a couple weeks ago, a friend of mine here texted me because you could tell either she was a crafter or her mom or somebody, she had so much stuff that was never even opened. Dirt cheap, right? Because it was a garage sale. So it's always good to check, you know, those things out, especially, like I said, right now for garage sales because it's, you know, springtime or whatever. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and ink up this to kind of match and it'll hide I'll show you. So see the core of the chipboard? It'll hide it nicely and make it a beautiful pink. And B likes pink. Oh, I think it looks so cute, you guys. Okay, so there's that. All right, so I'm going to pull this back now. And again, I got to kind of see. Here's the thing. And I'm okay with it. But this paper that I love that says Little Princess with the Crown, it's going to be kind of covered up, right? Because I'm going to go here and then it'll swing. I don't care about when it swings because you're opening and shutting, but it will be kind of on this one hard. But I think that's okay. I mean, it is just going to have to be what it is. You know what I mean? Love me a yard sale, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
wait a minute. So your neighbor, their garage is packed and they spend the whole day shopping for more. Wow. Do they do yard sales? I mean, do they do like eBay sales or something? Oh, you know someone who should have one. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Thanks for joining. Yes, garage sales. Lace. Oh, wow. See, that's another thing. If you go to, uh, oh, sure, Amy. Bye-bye, sweetie. If you go to garage sales, like you're saying, Barbara, or whatever, it doesn't matter if they're, like, you're right, like somebody who sewed or somebody who did other crafts, you know, lace, fabric, things like that. You know, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to use, now, I have a crop, crop, crocodile, crocodile, I think it's called, where you can set your eyelids. Let me grab it. And this thing I love, it's a beast, man. And so it's got... What is it again? It's got, ooh, 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 what's the measurement on this thing? Oh God, I can never read it. Three sixteenths, which is almost a quarter inch and one eighth. Okay. Oh, where's my Brad? Oh, you guys, look what I did. It's so small. I probably just lost the dang thing. Really? It's okay. I have more, but dang it. Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> so it's a tiny little brad. I'm going to do an one eighth inch, you know? Um, so I could certainly use this, but I recently got this. I don't know if this is as heavy duty and this is one eighth inch. And I thought I got it for traveler's notebooks. When I go on the ends, I can't reach the middle, you know, before I put the cording in. Um, so anyway, that's called a hoarder. <laughs> Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, Amy. Um, so, you know, you could use this. If you don't have this wonkin' thing, you can, you know, always use a little paper punch. I'm going to see if this works. Because like I said, I don't think it's as heavy duty as that. But let's just, let's, God, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to punch the A. I think that's okay. Because it will then... Let me do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to try. Here's what I'm going to attempt to do, and it probably will not turn out. See on the, I don't even know which way is normal for you because I'm backwards. See on this A, the little middle part of the A. I'm going to try to do it right there so the gem shows through. <laughs> We're going to see if that works. It may not, but that's okay. We're going to try. I don't really care. I just want to get the swing tab in. It's not going to work. I'm not strong enough, so I'm going to go to my handy dandy, this thingamajigger. Now, let me let me make sure I'm using the right side. It's this one right here. So, I mean, it kind of was going through, but it was really hard for me to get it. But that's okay, because at least it started it, and I know exactly where to line up this hole then. So, I think I'm good. I hope one-eighth of an... Oh, yeah, I didn't do great. I hope one-eighth of an inch isn't too bad. Oh yeah. Oh, well, it's not too big. Okay. So now what I want to do, so you got your brad in is I, I know I'm going to put my brad right through this heart because that's where I, I'm going to take this out from it. That's where I was able to look. I'm kind of centered between the intersections of all four flaps. Okay. And then that way I know, and I'm going to hold this down as if the brad was in, when I swing it around, I can open everything up. And that's hence why it's called a swing tap. Okay, so let's do this. We're almost done. I'm sort of, <laughs> she's sassy. I'm sort of a hoarder from emotional touch with certain things. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, your mama. Is that like your grandma? Oh, tiny but feisty. That's cute. So I'm going to punch my hole right in that heart. Now that's easy peasy, right? So I can get in there. Luckily it fits barely, but, um, we can get it in there. So that's good. And if you can't, like, let's say you had to go further, just take your pokey tool and poke a hole. Or if you have one of those, Oh my God, I have one and I've never used it. It came in one of these, we are memory keeper kit. I don't even know how to use the dang thing. You can use this, right? And Poke right through and then you're good to go. So maybe I do that. See? 
All right, that's cool. There we go. I got my hole. Don't need to use the big honking thing. And really any pokey tool <laughs> would do would do just fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my brad in, okay, and I'm gonna just put it through here. Oops, let's make sure those prongs are together. There we go. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna flip it over, open up the prongs like that. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is take some double-sided tape. Just because I really want to make sure this thing doesn't slide around or do anything crazy, right? So I better make sure. Well, let me think about this. I don't want to make it so it doesn't. Yeah, because the brad will still swing. It doesn't. Yeah, I want to put some tape on this. Where are my little scissors? And I'm sorry, I'm missing um, some comments, you know. Hey, Mary Ellen. So, so sorry if I've missed anybody. I know, Jenny. It feels like we're crafting. We are crafting together, right? <laughs> Yes, sentimental, not hoarding. I agree. Okay. So I'm going to add, just to add that, okay? So now, watch. When we have our swing tab, ta-da. Well, see how it's still flopped? If you're flat like this, it works. And then you go like this and you open up. But here is a trick. This is why what I like to do with swing tabs is magnetize them down. So what that means is, I've got the swing tab in, right? It swings, we're good. But if I put a magnet right here, okay? And then I put a magnet where that lands right here, it's even better. And I'm gonna do that and show you how to do that. That's why you don't wanna mat this piece either until, you know, you know what you're doing, right? I mean, really, in reality, it's best to only map the piece that you're poking the hole in for the for the uh, brad until you kind of figure everything out. So let's do our magnet. I love doing magnets on my swing tabs. They're pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to get my two pieces of tape, and we went over magnets yesterday. Oh, that's so sweet, Denise. Yes, Cheryl, I love those magnets. They're awesome. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over, grab my magnet, lay it down. Let me just make sure. Let me make sure. I just want to double, double check. Yep, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to lay it down right here. Okay. And I'm actually going to cut this a little bit smaller. Okay. And go like that. Perfect, perfect. And then take another, I hope I'm in frame, another magnet. Okay, honey, bye-bye. Thank you for coming on. Oh, bye, Linda. I thought, Denise, you were going. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Bye, Linda. Oh, and bye, Tree. Not bye, Linda. But see how confused I am. <laughs> bye, Tree. <laughs> I got it now. Good God. When you walk away or when you look away from comments and then you look back, you're like all super confused, okay? <laughs> okay, so that's going to go like this. There we go. Let me hold this a little closer since I can't zoom. Um, so all I did was, and we went over magnets, okay, yesterday, and then make sure it's straight. And make sure I'm not adhering it to the other piece of paper. Actually, what I'm going to do, oh, that's going to be hard. Yeah, we're good. We made it clear. It was clear. Sorry, I had to kind of look down underneath. I didn't want it to the tape to go over here because then I'm going to close my pages together. So there we go. So now, watch. Click. We're magnetized. It's a little crooked. I may want to try to move that up slightly. Dang it. I mean, I'm not going to freak about it that it's slightly crooked, but it's not even slightly. It should be like that. But it is what it is. I may want to try to fix that. How would I do that? I need to lower this one down. 
And that's, I got to do some surgery, everybody. But do you see, this is what happens. But you get it, right? You magnetize it down so that it'll stay. If you flip things over and around, it's awesome, right? <laughs> Cheryl. Oh, Marcy. All right. So I'm going to, this is no big deal because I haven't put any paper on the back of here or anything. Just ripping up that tape with the magnet. Okay. And we're going to redo it because I want this thing to be straighter. It, it's probably not going to be perfect. And that's okay. But that one was, that was pretty far off. Um, so yeah. Okay. So let me try it this way. And then what I'm going to want to do, yeah, let me lay it down there first. Let me get my tape. Let's see if this one. Okay. Now we should be straight because I'm going this way instead of guessing the other way. Oops. That's the problem. I'm sorry. I had to do some surgery. Let me do this again. I just got to pick this one little magnet up. There we go. We got it. We got her. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to make sure this thingy is really adhered down. All right. And here's what I'm even going to do on this. Is I'm going to pull. Oops. Well, I'm going to take a smaller piece, thinner, I should say, of quarter inch. I just really want to make sure that magnet is not going to go anywhere. Since we had to do a little bit of surgery. And we're good now. So. All right. Let's see how it works, shall we? It's really not as complicated as I made it. It was just because I had that crooked, but it is a little bit, you know, you get, you, you get used to it after you do it. And I haven't done a ton of magnetized swing tabs, but they're not hard. Now, look, it's still slightly crooked because of the way the magnets kind of click together, but it's not as bad as it was. And I'm okay with that. Right. <laughs> you wonder who's getting that prototype. <laughs> Of this, is that what you're talking about? This is for my little granddaughter. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we got it. Woo, we're done. Now I'm good to go. I can mat away. I don't need to put any magnets because, again, my closure is right there. And it's magnetized, so it stays. Isn't that awesome? Do you guys like it? I think it's cool. Uh, granted, it's a slightly crooked and that's just me messing up. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yes. Well, what do you mean? Like between the paper and the chipboard? I don't think that would magnetize then to here. Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure, Linda. I'm sure there's multiple ways to do it. But yeah. So yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, girls. It's been about an hour. You know me. It's about an hour <laughs> on my lives. I just hope that this helps. Oh, Linda. Great idea, Magnet or Lauren. Magnet before Brad is probably a really good way to do that. That's an awesome idea. I'll do that on my other one that I'm going to do. That's a great idea for sure. But Linda, if you put the magnet between the paper and the chipboard, it will not magnetize down here. It's not going to go through all the way. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. But if you're talking about what Lauren was saying, that that's a great, I, I love that idea, Lauren. I'm doing that on my next one. And like I said, I haven't done a lot of magnetized swing tabs, but if I can do it, all you can do it. <laughs> Trust me. So yeah, it's kind of cool, right? And you know what? 
things like this. And I don't know who it was, was it uh, Linda or somebody like, um, thought, oh, is she making a card? Well, you could certainly use this on a card. I happen to be making a mini album, but you could use this on other things that you create. So it's just a cool little technique, right? So yeah. Oh my gosh, Amy, you're so sweet. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, ladies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I got I to gotta start making dinner for my hubby and I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, you don't want me to be hangry. <laughs> so I'm going to take a break. We're having leftovers. How boring, but that's okay. Going to heat that. It's easy for, for me. And then um, work on this some more. Maybe I'll come back on later tonight. I don't know. But you guys know for sure, no matter what, which is going to be a while. But when I'm done, I will definitely do a project share. Um, so thank you for helping me pick out and make decisions. And this has been fun. I love all your input. Such, such talented ladies that come and uh, hang out with me. And I appreciate it. Don't forget, I got Amazon links. I will link my chipboard. I'm going to do that sometime tonight. Sorry about that. Um, but my magnets, my glue, my clear bags that I use for... Uh, Happy Meal Packaging, my own um, embellishments. Those are on there. All kinds of things. And if you are not subscribed, although I think all of you ladies are, please please do so and give me a like. It so helps my channel. Oh my God, you guys. Not that I'm a numbers person, but we did hit 23 today. 20, 2,300, um, which is kind of fun, you know. So anyways, nice hanging out with all of you. Thank you so much. Have a great Sunday. And we'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks, girls. Bye-bye.